What's up YouTube and welcome back to the SUV challenge today you will see all 25 rounds of the SUV challenge the cars I used and maybe most of the cars you have as well so you can use them if you don't have the same cars and you use some other cars for some uh, special rounds then let let everyone know down below in the comment section share your wisdom and of course if you're a big fan of top price don't forget to join our discord chat it's down below in the comment section as well as well join me on instagram i share my journey with you there it's at casual mobile gaming link is down below as well the usual the usual but here we go quarter mile drag that's the first one but that's easy so let's skip that first rounds as always i will skip many times I'll quickly show you what kind of opponents you will have and that's it but i don't want to bore you with that it's like i don't want to bore you by, by beating guys by i don't know 900 points or something so um, i would just quickly show you what i use here what i really really like about this challenge is that um, there is this interesting aspect now that you have bonus points so sometimes you really are tempted to use um, land rovers and so because you get the bonus points and those bonus points are going to be crucial later and yeah that just to give you a little um, preview about what kind of opponents you can, might have so i'm telling you some bonus points are crucial so man so i hope i hope after the land rover finals the jaguar finals you didn't sell all your land rovers and so many people are tend to do that are you doing that it's like um, everybody's always so many times selling everything what they were just using for the latest uh, i don't know challenge or so but i'm kind of like if i invest something in a car and so I, i'm really tough to to let go of it i'd rather keep it as a collection or now and then you can still use it i mean together with the challenge there's so many cars now rq10 cars and so and so and even rq7 rq3 rq5 and, and so which are useful very very useful and you should not get rid of that those are just my two cents to that topic but here we go already round four round five ladies and gentlemen round five and a little bit of cash after that quarter mile drag oh rally cross circle he's coming with a caterham for example that caterham that's a good car that's a good um, uncommon car so if you have this keep it i'm currently building up my one to um yeah have it fully fully uh, maxed out and so because love it it's a it's a good car for the challenge uh, or for any uh, common challenge as well it's a good grippy car that's a caterham which is made for slaloms so here we go finish that one and got five thousand in cash and while we go through while we go through a little sneak peek what's happening actually during this whole week regarding top drives and some other games as well uh, i will still have uh this week i will have uh, another i rate your deck episode man so many people were asking for it so if you still want to be in that episode yeah follow me on on instagram for example and send me via direct message your screenshots of your best killing four-wheel drive deck i rate your four-wheel drive deck because that's a topic four-wheel drive or just do it on discord join my discord chat and send me a direct message there as well i'm usually very very active there trying to have a look almost every day so um, if you want to have a good chance speaking with me yeah just join our discord and that about yeah we will have this then we have some really really crazy openings um coming up soon then of course we have the german event the 99 luftballons 99 luftballons if you don't know why 99 or 99 um this is actually a song a very very popular german pop song from the i think for from 90s it's like ask me ask me that i don't know but i think it was 90s 90s or 80s something like this and uh, it's a really cool song appeared in many many movies and tv shows as well i don't know if you watch scrubs or something for example that appeared and yeah so we will do this and of course regarding other games people are asking me night donation is coming again don't worry well, we have kayak drift racing we have some bonus codes coming out we have uh what else we, what, what else is coming we got hot wheels of course we got mmx hill dash 2 
which is coming as well. We got Pixel Car Racer, we got Crash of Cars, we got Hitler and Racing 2, um, KX Drift Racing coming as well, Skidstorm, people enjoyed that, Absolute Racing, Stunt Car Challenge, Gear Club, Dubai Drift 2, and Monster Jam. That's not all coming this week, but it's, this will come within the next weeks, all of that. If there's a game I just listed and you want to see more of that, let me know down below because I am trying to, to keep you guys happy as much as possible. And of course, if there's a game which I didn't mention and you would like me to play that, you yeah, the easiest way is joining the Discord. We have a section there which says game suggestions, so you could just drop your notes there and then I will I usually have a look once or twice per week to see okay let's see what's interesting what people would like to see and if I could pull that but you can see here right away that's an interesting round this one we win but the first two we lost but luckily thanks to the bonus points we get here we get step by step our points so it doesn't look so good right now 212 but there we go here we go, Land Level Sport Discovery and the Four Rangers losing. And we get our bonus points. Plus he gets this... Ah, actually no, we didn't get any bonus points there. So when he gets disqualified, we don't get 500. Okay, good to know. Good to know. He's bailing out on that one. So, Motocross Tracks, Slalom Test. G-Force Test. That's like... Um, regarding G-Force Test, but not G-Force Test actually. Regarding, everybody should know that already. But you see four-wheel drive performance tires so many times when you see, I don't know, a gravel surface. And it's not G-Force test, but let's say 0 to 100 or one mile drag, half a mile drag. Don't think just because uh, you have all surface tires or off-road tires or something like this that you will immediately win on all of those. Um, because if you're facing, for example, an Audi or something and it has performance tires but four-wheel drive, that Audi is quite strong. And even though in the beginning, it's not going off so easily, but then later once it's got traction and grip and so it's it's moving like a rocket. And so many times I lost on one mile drag. And especially when you have mid range acceleration, like some of those monsters and beasts. Then you go home as well. So but we finished that. Six hundred and seventy five, seven and a half cash. Ah, I love it. I love it. You can farm so many so many coins and points and cars and so on so ah. Oh. That's the best. So slalom test dirt. You see, I got out my G wagon. Love the G wagon. By the way, if you if you could decide, if you could decide, Nissan GTR or a G wagon, which would be your favorite choice? You know, I don't know. I I love the Nissan GTR. It's an awesome car. I know it's so cliche because every YouTuber is like, oh Nissan GTR, and so many YouTubers who got the money bought a Nissan GTR. But I still like it. I still really like it. I don't care. I don't care. There are thousands of other people buying another car. And I was like, you should not always look on the others. But here you go. Look at that. Extra bonus points. But yeah. Would you go G-Wagon or would you go GTR? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear that. I don't, I'm torn apart. I love the G-Wagon as well. I love the edgy style of the G-Wagon. By the way, just skip that because I don't want to... I mean, if it's so simple, I don't want to show you. So, slalom test. Oh, he's coming with double BMW power. Oh, uh, but I think, I think that BMW is one of the um, uh, slower ones, so that shouldn't be an issue here. Slalom test. Yeah, there we go. That Ford is caught, man. Like since this one got the um, off-road tires, everybody loves it. Same with the rally spec. Amazing car. Amazing car. Which can beat the Datsun. Which can beat. So we finally have an opponent for the Datsun. I love that move actually from Hutch. That rather nerfing than nerfing the Datsun. Which means like to make it slower or something. Um, they actually made some other cars just stronger. And so kind of raise the competition. There we go. Datsun. Here 200. Oh, we're doing good. We're almost halfway through now, huh? What is that? So. Slalom test. Zero to, ah, that's, here's a good example. Look at that. Zero 200. That Audi. 
yeah, you need to be careful. It's like even though it has four wheel drive and performance tires, not even though it has four wheel drive, even though it has performance tires, as it it will go off. It's like half of the track it will definitely catch up. And that's why you need to have something similar beating it, or even way better. Why not that? So GeForce test dirt. Unfortunately, on Twisty Zero, I'm gonna get beaten. Look at that grippy monster there. 86? Maybe I should put that on my next project list. That's, uh, that should be. It's an extra. Datsun, I love the Datsun. He always gives you like a glimpse of hope. A glimpse of hope to the opponents and then he's coming and beating you like BAM! Looks like a dove, but biting like a snake. Uh, duh, 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 duh. So, we got Slalom Test. Uh, hill Climb is actually not, not a bad ride there. Interesting. And that that Mini Cooper is one of the minis I actually only use. Like I got so many and used them to fuse or, or just sold them. But that mini is actually not bad. Infinity, Dray Blazer, 135 points. Solid. And this and Petrol. Ooh, look at that little beast. Seriously. That was surprising, but even with bonus points, I love it. Hundred. Yeah. The John Cooper works. Countryman. Not a bad ride because it weighs almost nothing. So if you have this, keep it. Keep it and build it up. There's so many cars which you should keep and build. Maybe I should do an episode regarding, I don't know, all uncommon cars, common cars, which you should keep and build up. I think that would make sense. Uh huh. So. And Mitsubishi still has no chance against my Datsun. That Volvo, though, it's not bad. It's not bad. Don't underestimate that one. But that Trailblazer, old but gold, my friends. I mean, everybody got that Trailblazer, but still, amazing car. What a hill climb monster. That, it's time to, yeah. Good that I have enough cars now which can beat that one, like my G Wagon or my BMW. And 412 to 0. Unfortunately, uh, missing out on points here. So, for Ranger. Mm. Oh, come on. Mm. Ah, all bad. I mean, nothing interesting. I want cash. I need more cash. Motocross track, rally cross, GeForce test, is that a Honda? S performance test, come on, you should have learned now. By now, computer, you should know. Not to come, it's like performance tires and dirt, and even rainy dirt or something like that. <laughs> it's like taking a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> that's, that's the wrong neighborhood, my friend. Go. Look at those points! Ooh, 345! That's what I meant. Ah. Okay, so Trailblazer, Land Rover Discovery, even no bonus points, still killing it. Round 17, we're through! Halfway through! And only a few more rounds. Then we get our ceramic pack, which I'm looking forward to the most. This is always the greatest moment out of the challenge, the ceramic pack. Because lately, I must say, the the prices, like the final price as a car, 
I don't know, did you enjoy that? It was like the first one which had that Nissan skyline, I think. And then later or was it the first one? I think it was the first. And then we we had the Humvee, which was very nice. The Hammer. So we got those two cars. They were really nice. But all the other ones that we got the G Wagon. Well if no one had a G Wagon that then maybe that was what else we got? What else we had? I kind of forgot. Like I could just check all my challenge videos, right? But I kind of uh, which one we got? Which one we got? We got a Ford. I think once we got a Ford, if I'm not mistaken. Well, but as I told you before, it's just it's not really so much always about the final reward. The final reward should just kind of push you if you really want to finish all 25 rounds. But everybody should go until. I mean, the goal should be to finish until round 20, that is, for every challenge, you know, just because you get that ceramic pack, you get lots of cars, you're building up cars which you could need in other challenges and future challenges as well, but sometimes, I mean, from round 21 and round 25, so many times you actually will have, I mean, so bad as opponents, and uh, sometimes you just need different cars, if you can't use the, the cars which you have in your deck, to beat those even if you fully upgrade them then I would say sometimes leave it whatever it's not you don't get so far there was no legendary there's no Bugatti chance there imagine that imagine that would actually do one where you could get a Bugatti but that kind of probably would be something like I don't know it would would start in round six you would already face McLaren or something <laughs> that's that's just my guess so I wouldn't say that would be an easy one but round 20 laser, ooh, we got the Ford Raptor, laser German, a Ford Raptor, and we got that Audi. The rest seems easy, right? The rest seems easy, but unfortunately, we got that Audi. So, I can't beat that Ford Raptor. I tried, I tried very many different things. Unfortunately, couldn't beat that one. But, um, I mean, I could try, I could try my 6x6. Would love actually to see if he could beat it, but uh, I don't have enough IQ points available to use that. That's why I need to go there. Plus, we still have the restriction of using SUVs as well. Some cars are not considered SUVs, and that's why, for example, that Ford Escort really spec, which I need, which is actually almost winning there. But it's a maxed out version, so I can't fix it. I can't, I can't upgrade anything on this one. And we'll lose against that Audi. So sad, I still don't have an Audi. I mean, an Audi, an epic Audi. Everybody has epic Audi, at least that's how it feels like. Okay, ceramic, come on! Give me some sugar there. Oh, come on, no, it's that, not the crap. What's that? Okay, rap fonts and. Hmm, super rare. Ford Mustang. Maybe that's a mid range monster. Hmm, should check that later. However, you got a super rare, you know? Can use if I don't use it, I use it to fuse it. Oh, fast circuit, ladies and gentlemen, fast circuit. Look at that, McLaren. I don't have anything to beat that one. And uh, hit them, okay. So that means I would need to use some of my SUVs. I don't want to use the Ford Escort there because I, I want to do some extra points on the other ones. Ford Escort is way too important. It's a crucial car. He needs to do points. So, oh, da, 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 da. all right. Uh, good, I got that Land Rover. That's very important. Like those extra points. He could actually win on hit climb. I used the Nismo there. Hit climb dirt. Okay. What is called Rally's back? That's what I mean. Come on! Yeah, that's what I mean. 173 points. You need that. And BMW and Nissan Pathfinder. Yes. But not so impressive. Not so impressive. For an epic ride. Oh, 167. That's the damage we're getting here. But the good thing is, we still got a bonus here. Ooh, 254. Well, without the bonus. Well, I think without the bonus, that would have been tricky. I don't know if I would have finished that. Uh, I think... 
Mm, that will be 400, something like this. And bonus was 250. No, I think we wouldn't have finished that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Bonus points, and that makes it be really interesting. I really, really like that. So let's go now. Twisty circuit. Hit lime dirty first test dirt. Ah, and he's getting out the trailblazer. But my friend, dear opponent, didn't you learn in school to fully max out your trailblazer? Look at what he's using on that first hit line. <laughs> oh, um, bonus points are waiting on the finish line. I'm already looking forward to it. That F pace. That F pace. I wouldn't mind that one as a jack. BMW is doing its duty. Some Petrol is doing a duty as well by getting demolished and destroyed and smashed. But here we go. Larava coming with his bonus points. Oh, 588. He could win the, the round by itself. We only need him. That's it. There we go. There we go. The G is beating the Trailblazer off the beaten track. We've got our three last cards. Are we now round 23? Let's get those cards coming. And whoa, whoa, whoa. He got the G. Whoa. That's a very German deck. Look at that. We got. Two Porsche, we got an M5, uh, MX5, of course, XM5 or something. And of course, we got the G, not the best G though, twisty circuited. What is that? What's that? Come on. Because I think I, yeah. I mean, I would love to use and destroy him on uh, twisty circuit dirt with my Fortis Core. But I kind of think like I need the Fortis Core to beat the Porsche. Let's see how many extra points we do here. And 125 is, is not bad. It's definitely not bad. Oh, there we go. There we go. Woohoo! It's like, how much how much is this one worth? I mean, does anyone of you know? Like in real life, Ford is called Rally's back. I mean it's a rally version. Maybe 30, 40,000 or something like this. I mean it's an old car. Maybe you get it way cheaper. But imagine that. You're driving this and then there's coming a oh, was that a Macan or something or Cayenne? You're just destroying it like that 90,000 euro car. Damn! Love it. That is top drives. The spirit of top drives. Uh, one of the old school jacks again. Ooh, look at that. Pike's Peak is coming. Pike's Peak. Then we got the F Pace. We got the Range Rover Sport SVR. We got the Honda Pilot, which is a good one. And we got a freaking P1. And that's not the final, ladies and gentlemen. Those are not the finals. No, that's round 24, ladies and gentlemen. Round 24. However, Hill Climb Dirt, Pikes Peak, mm, I wouldn't say this is the best choice. I would rather, I would take out that Pikes Peak, put it on Twisty Circle, and use your Honda Pilot on Hill Climb Dirt. That would be my, my way of doing that. Because you want to use, you want to use those grip points, 90 grip points, you know. It's amazing. I remember the first Suzuki challenge that would be. That was so cool. Here we go, extra points. Round two, Ford coming in. 85. Here, obviously, we lose by a oh yeah. big damage, 138. G wagon. 138. Okay. That F pace. We're losing! We're losing! Epic versus epic. Yeah! Only one point. We need to change our deck a little bit. No way. We'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. So, here we go again. Uh huh. Let's change a bit of the circle. There we go. Hit line. That's funny, that's funny that my BMW, ah, I mean, is still losing against the max out trailblazer. Stupid, stupid. But to maxing out an epic car, oh, 
need to sacrifice so many ultras. I don't know, it needs to be very, very useful, otherwise... I don't have time for that, I don't want to do that, I don't want to map. I'm very, very tough on getting, you know, getting rid of ultra rares, I'm very fond of them. So, 6, 7, 5, there we go, and here we go to the last round, round 25. So, we got Subaru. We got a Datsun, unfortunately. He's not going so tough on me on... He's coming with KDM, though. Uh, hill Climb Dirk and Hill Climb. So he's coming with a G and I think an Infinity. There it is. Unfortunately, that stupid Datsun is destroying my whole plans. And as you will see now, I won't beat it. I won't beat it. Like, I'm not bad, but stupid Datsun. I would love to use any other car, but... Mm. It's like I don't do any extra points. I always did my extra points on GeForce test. Now I lose like here because I need to use four SUVs and so on. So, so the only way would be to maybe maxing out my Land Rover to do some extra points, you know, bonus points. Because if you do ten more points, you get twenty in the end and so on. So because I'm so close to winning, but I don't. I don't, unfortunately. And that's why, yeah, for me. The evoke is not worth it to, I don't know, lose so many. I actually do it here once, but to lose so many. By the way, I always say Land Rover, Range Rover, of course, of course, Land Rover, Range Rover. You can get a little bit confused there. Um, yeah, for me, it's not worth it. But here are all the 25 rounds. If you beat it, let me know down below in the comment section. I wish you a wonderful day, guys. That was a casual mobile gamer. Keep it tight. Bye bye.